Whether you are religious or not, there's no denying that the splendor of the Scottish landscape provokes a spiritual response. Doogie's heading to Wester Ross now to discover how the faith of a groundbreaking Scotswoman links this spectacular place with the holy shrine in Mecca. Assalamu alaikum ya al khabar. Performing a traditional Muslim prayer at this lonely grave on the Glen Caron estate is Omar Sheikh. Buried here is Lady Evelyn Cobald. Born into Edinburgh's high society in 1867, she would shock Britain when she converted to Islam. Omar from the charity Colourful Heritage can tell me more. What was her early life like and how did she first encounter Islam? So Lady Evelyn, I mean, phenomenal story. Uh, at a young age, uh, Lady Evelyn spent time in Algeria and Cairo and she had Muslim nannies. And she reported that she would escape down to the mosques with them and made friends locally. And that's where she first encountered Islam. Her childhood experiences in North Africa sparked something in Evelyn. But it wasn't until some years later that she admitted to the world and herself that she was Muslim. She met the Pope on a visit to Italy and that was the first time she actually commented on herself being a Muslim when she came to her own realisation when the Pope asked her, you know, are you a Catholic? And she just responded, no, I'm a Muslim. She fully converted to Islam and took the name Saida Zainab. How unusual was that and maybe how shocking was that? Very unusual, very unusual. For her to convert to Islam and considering her family and the connections they had, it was a huge event, absolutely huge event. She separated from her husband in 1922, receiving Glen Caron as part of the package. She lived and enjoyed the life of the country laird. But Omar thinks the land here is inextricably linked with her faith. She said Islam resonated with her because it was a religion of common sense, as she, as she explained, but also the spiritual aspect to it, uh, which she felt she could connect with. I think that spiritualism, to me, is what would have been her key component, which is why I think we're here in this glen today, because this landscape uses spiritualism in a, in a way for people who are receptive to that, who can see that. In 1933, in her 60s, she undertook the greatest journey for any Muslim, performing Hajj. This is the first time ever a white British woman has gone for pilgrimage to Mecca. First ever recorded story of such. And that is one of the most spiritual moments in the life of any Muslim. And the verses in the Quran that call you to the house of God built by Abraham in Mecca actually state they will come from every distant valley and ravine to come for the pilgrimage in Mecca. And that resonates, I think, with where we are standing here today as to what connected her with Islam, but also connected her back here in Scotland, here in the Highlands. Zainab retired to Glencarran, spending the last two decades of her life here. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. She died in 1963, aged 95. Her last wish was to be buried in the Glen. And God has full knowledge of everything. You can really understand why she would want to be buried in a place like this. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wild yet. Serene as well. She specifically asked for a piper to be playing while she was buried. And they had an imam who had come up all the way from walking to do the Arabic prayers. She infused both of her identities, her Scottish identity and her Islamic identity. Today, we still have massive issues amongst Muslims in Scotland around identity, around sense of belonging. Lady Evelyn has shown British Islam, actually starting from the Victorian period, 
So being buried here is a massive signal, it's a sign to all Muslims in Scotland today that Scotland has got a history and a connection with Islam and you should be proud of that.